Hey everyone, welcome back. And it's Meredy here and I have an unboxing video for you today for our May 2024 kit called Lemoncello um, Sorbet. So I will just jump right in. I'm going to show you what's in the Limitless kit, what's in the Essentials kit. I'm gonna show you some mixed media that I pulled that I think matches the kit if you wanna get that ready while you're waiting for your kits to be delivered, like pull some mixed media from your stash. Um, I'm gonna show you all the acrylics, embellishments, and cardstock cut embellishments that we're releasing this month. And then at the very end of this video, I'm going to show you what pictures of mine that I pulled that I'm going to use to scrapbook process videos using this kit for the rest of the month of May. Um, so I'm going to try to make, my goal is always to make at least one video a week, which is five videos a month, but usually I get to make a few more than that. So I've pulled out pictures for a lot of layouts. And I will get started with the paper from the Limitless kit. And I'm gonna get started with that right now. So the first sheet of paper is from the Coast to Coast line. It's called Ready to Roam and it's a cut apart sheet. And the back is this like herringbone type pattern on a light teal. I love all these cut aparts. They can be used for titles. They can be used for journaling cards, just little tags. And then the back is a great neutral color. Okay, the second sheet in this kit is going to be from 49 Market Spectrum Gardenias and it's solids paper number one. It's this orange color. And on the back, it's just like a mottled orange um, pattern, but I really love this pattern because, or this side, because it coordinates so well. The next paper is from Pink Fresh from the Simple Things collection, and it's called Rays of Sunshine, and it's just a nice um, paper. This is the B side of it. The A side, I love this sunburst on there. The next paper is from 49 Market Spectrum Sherbert and it is solids lemon. So it's very similar to this orange paper, but in yellow. The back side again is a mottled color. And I really love this side because these are really great papers to use as the base of your layout. Okay, next up we have Pebbles, Fun in the Sun, and this one is called Getaway. And it's just all kinds of words about summer, getaway, happiness, good vibes, hello, lovely, poolside, adventure, fun, vacation, sunshine, beach day. And the back side is this blue and green striped. It's a little distressed looking. I love all these words. The next paper is from Pebbles Fun in the Sun again, and it is called Boardwalk. And it's this wood grain, yay, not just for boys, wood grain. And it's in a blue and like natural wood color. And the back is starfish in uh, a teal color but I just really love the wood grain. I'm gonna leave this paper going sideways so you can see the wood slats as I put more papers. And next up we have Simple Stories from the Just Beachy line. It's the tag elements. And as you can see, we've got lots of different lines of paper here, but they all are matching so well together, um, like perfectly. I feel like these papers just, even though they're all from different lines, they can mix and match together. And I always love Simple Stories tag papers because you can do so much with them. And then the B side is just the blank tags if you wanted to embellish them up um, with what you want. Okay, the next piece is from 49 and Market Kaleidoscope Solids paper number four. And it's just a very neutral, light teal paper, even the B side, both sides are just pretty neutral. Um, again, it's great for matting or background paper, or et cetera. And the very last paper is from Simple Stories Just Beachy and it's called This Is Paradise. And it's this awesome palm tree with the variated, variegated colors in the back. And the back side is this bright florally paper, but I just really love the palm tree side better. So I'm gonna leave the palm tree side facing up. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's nine papers in this month's kit. So those are the papers. And then this is the embellishments that are gonna come with your kit. First, you're gonna get two distress crayons. One is in tumbled glass and one is in fossilized amber. And these act, I, I'm gonna use them like watercolor on my layout. And yeah, if you 
are familiar with distress crayons, you'll know what these are. If not, I'll be using them in the videos to show you some ways to use them. So those are really amazing. And then this, the Simple Things collection again, and these are the journaling bits. There's 14 pieces and it's envelopes and tags. Let me open these up. Sorry, that's loud. I'm gonna open these up and show you what's in here. It's just a, an array of envelopes and different journaling tags that you can use on layouts. More envelopes. They match so well with the colors of this kit. Um, and a couple tags. What's it all about? Details to remember. This matches the paper that comes in this kit. Okay, so those are awesome to layer up on your layout. We also have a 12 by 12 sticker sheet that's from the um, Just Beachy Simple Stories line. So it's the coordinating sticker sheet that goes with this paper and this paper. So it has all kinds of fun summer icons and bright colors and good words at the, at the bottom, all the little word tabs, sun-kissed, all of these amazing icons and phrases. Then we have the um, Poppy and Pear uh, Puffy Letter Stickers. These are Puffy Letter Stickers, stickers, and there are 562 letters on here, or 562 pieces. So we have alphabets in white and then alphabets that are like in a rainbow color scheme. And again, the colors just look great with all of the pieces of this layout. And lastly, in this kit will be the Fun in the Sun Puffy Phrase Thickers. So these are just great for titles. They really coordinate well with this paper. So a lot of these words from this paper are on this phrase sheet. I'm gonna open it up so that you can see both sides and what's in here. Happiness, hello, lovely, adventure, poolside, sandy toes and salty kisses, vacay vibes, yay, life is sweet, love and sunshine. And then on the back is soak up the sun and beach day, vacation, happy getaway, good vibes, happy place, sunny days, summer, life is great and fun. And again, a lot of those phrases come straight from this piece of paper. So we've got both of those. I'm trying to do this so you can easily see what's here in all the colors. Let me straighten this up a little. And then, so that's what's in the Limitless kit, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, six different embellishments, and then all nine of these papers that's in the Limitless kit. And then I'm going to pull in on top of this, the Essentials kit. So the Essentials kit, it starts with these foam thickers from the Coast to Coast um, line, which is what this piece of paper right here is from. But again, these colors are just perfect with literally everything here. Okay, so you've got all kinds of thickers on here. Good Eats, Travel Far and Wide, I'm on Vacation, Today, This is the Life, Ready, Jet, Go, Broaden Your Horizons, The Places We Go, The People We Meet, The Memories We Create. Yeah, there are so many amazing titles on there. So those phrase thickers come in the essentials kit. I'm gonna try, I know you can't see the bottom, but I want to be able to see the colors when I'm getting everything else out. There's a pack of not just for boys, um, what is it called, starfish. And they're in this iridescent white color, this iridescent yellow color, and this iridescent coral color. So I believe there are 12 total in the package. They're fabric starfish, like little appliques. I'll leave those up there. And then we've got a coast to coast ephemera pack from American Crafts. And it has all of these great icons in there that you can see right here. I'm gonna open them up and show you real quickly a few of them. Some of them are vellum, some of them have um, uh, your, um, metallic gold um, coloring to them. Like some of these have metallic gold highlights. There's a lot of vellum right there. I don't know why American Crafts has suddenly started 
putting carrier sheets in here. I'm not too sure what's going on there, but I'm just gonna pull them out of their carrier sheets when I store this because I can't stand having this little paper here. So, keys, snorkel. Oh my gosh, look at this keychain, you guys. It has a little flamingo on it, it's so cute. <laughs> Um, a geotag, an airplane, a little leaf, all kinds of just summer coffee, sunglasses, travel type icons there. And these will just beef up your kit. So if you get the kit and you want to get the essentials kit, it just beefs up the essentials kit. Oh my gosh, it has a saguaro and I live where saguaros grow, so I love this one. Okay, I'm not gonna make you watch me punch these all out. I'm just gonna keep going through them. Oh, little earbuds, geotags, more earbuds, all kinds of goodies. From the city, to the lakes, to camping, to the ocean, butterflies they've got like every type of travel covered here oh my gosh the little dog a camera hiking boot airplane oh these are cute they look like little postcard little uh not postcards um polaroids okay so we've got all of those And again, the colors are coordinating great across here. And the last thing in the essentials kit is this Pebbles ephemera. I'm gonna flip this upside down so you remember that that's those. So this is the Pebbles ephemera, and it is from Fun in the Sun, which is the same line as this paper and these stickers. So like I said, we've mixed so many lines together here, but they're all just coordinating really well with one another. These motel room keys are just so trendy right now. I know Heidi Swap recently came out with a stamp set that uses them. Um, and this is a lot of outdoor stuff, the best days, special memories, another hotel key here. You are my sunshine, paradise, surfboards, a day to remember, family and friends. Yeah, so many things, some little labels, the very best day, let's go with a little seashell in the background, a journaling card, and then other stack in here. So these are from the Pebbles Fun in the Sun. Oh, they also have vellum. So the vellum, oops, the vellum little monstera leaf and happy place, another leaf, another leaf, some flowers, oh, a little film strip, and it has words inside some of those. Yeah, there's a lot of vellum in here. Leaves, oh my gosh, this frame looks like a watermelon. So cute. Tags, ice cream. Again, they've got tons of icons covered here and lots of tags that are just generic that you could use on all sorts of pages. Seashells here. So, and I lo I'm loving that they have so many of these Polaroid frames. There's a bunch of Polaroid frames in there. Ah. and a bunch of tags to use and a journaling spot. So those last four things I just showed are from the essentials kit. The first set of things is from the limitless kit. I'm gonna move all these embellishments. It's very like messy right here for me. I'm gonna move them all off to the side so I can continue showing you the other things that we have to offer this month. And I'm gonna start by showing you all of our paper, um, our cardstock cuts that we have that are new this month, as well as the acrylics and wood embellishments that you can alter that we have new this month. So I will be right back in just a second when I get this cleared up to show you all of that. I'll be right back. I am gonna start out with the paper cuts that um, coordinate with our Limitless kit. So the Limoncello kit. So we have one cut that says life is so good. 
and another one that says love this moment and it really does come with a dot on this eye but I swear you guys I lose the dots of my eyes when I am photographing things and making videos and I can never keep all the dots straight so we'll put those off to the side and this is why I can't keep them straight okay and then we have a sequin mix which this one has um, this one goes with the lemon cello kit and it's got little slices of citrus um, in it along with all the colors that are in the kit. And then we have a um, lemon cello sorbet uh, finishing touch pearl mix this month available. It just coordinates really well with the um, kit. Okay. And then we have two different options for these little popsicles. There's the pastel option and then like a bright color option. So, and they come with four little popsicles in each one. And then we have these, let's see, I'm gonna take this one out of the package. It says fun and games. It's a, there we, we've got the lemoncello acrylic and um, asphalt color black and this light blue color that they those are those options and then we have this really cute set it is well first of all it's only it only comes with three pieces it comes with two of these little coconut drinks and one of these little arrows that say beach but it comes masked like this so that you can peel off the letters of beach if you wanted and maybe put white, white acrylic paint on there or even white white acrylic paint before you unmask it um, and when you brush it off it will seep into just the little seams of where the words were etched but this is what it looks like when it's unmasked and this is how it will come so it only comes with one beach sign though, guys, not two. And then we've got these Hello Summers. There's gonna be a few different color variations of these. Um, the Hello Summer with the mint. We've got three different colors and then it'll be different combos. There's mint, lemon cello color, and a iridescent color. And it's variations of those. So you can, on the drop down menu in the website, you can select which color combination you want. So those are the things that coordinate with the Lemoncello kit. And next we have a couple of things in honor of Mother's Day. It says, they say best mom ever, and there's two color options, rose or I think it's lilac is the color option. And they just are acrylics that say best mom ever. So you can put those on layouts or make cards with them. So that's in honor of Mother's Day. Then we have one little set of acrylic and wood embellishments in honor of Cinco de Mayo. And that says Fiesta, and then you've got the little hat and the maracas made out of the wood. And these, these are masked, so you can peel back one part of the masking and ink it or color it or paint it to make it colored. And then it has three little banners right there. And these are in honor of Cinco de Mayo. And I probably won't have any Cinco de Mayo pictures, but I will probably use these on a Disney World page um, in the Mexico uh, country of Epcot because you all know that I love Disney. So I'll probably use that for those, those for that. And then we have a cut in honor of class of 2024, which I have a senior this year. She's graduating from high school. So I'm gonna be using this on a page of her. So it's a cardstock cut for the class of 2024. And then for International Scrapbook Day, since all of our specials are starting tonight um, with our May, along with our May release so that you can shop together for International Scrapbook Day sales as well as our May release and only pay one shipping. So all of our um, International Scrapbook Day sales are starting tonight. So we have a cut that says Crafty and then there's three different color options of acrylic crafties. And I will open one up so you can see it. And it's just an acrylic word crafty. It comes in mint, limoncello color, or the iridescent color. It might be kind of hard to see the iridescent, looking iridescent on camera. 
Um, and then if you did not know, um, we have, like I was just saying, all of our sales for International Scrapbook Day, there's a tab on our website so you can find all the sales in one easy place. I am also going to link our introduction video to our International Scrapbook Day um, stuff that we have planned for that day. And we have a few, a couple more things um, that we'll be announcing on International Scrapbook Day, but they don't involve buying or shipping anything. So we haven't said those yet because they're coming up on Saturday. But I will now um, show you what else I have picked to coordinate with the Lemoncello kits. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what mixed media I pulled from my stash um, that I'm gonna keep at my fingertips when I'm working on these layouts because to me it's easier to just keep a few things close at hand than have to worry about going through all of my mixed media to find something that I need. So of course your kit comes with two distress crayons. So these are gonna serve like watercolor paints to me the way that I like to use distress crayons. So I'm gonna include this in this little video because you already have those that are coming in the kit, you're gonna get them. And then I'm gonna start with the distress oxide ink colors that I thought matched really well. And the cover of the ink pad might not really look like the color that you're getting when you ink it. Just keep that in mind because the mode lawn matches really amazing, but it, it isn't really this color. It's more of a bright green. So we've got the mode lawn, the salvaged patina. Some of these are available in the store. Some of them are not. Mermaid Lagoon. So I may basically I'm showing you these so you can pull them out of your stash if you have these and be ready and you know have something to do while you're waiting for your kit to arrive. Uh, crackling Campfire, Wild Honey, and again that looks very orange, but it's like a yellowish gold. Mustard Seed, Picked Raspberry. saltwater taffy, and um, spiced marmalade. So those are the colors that I thought matched really well with this kit. And then I pulled some other mixed media. I grabbed my Nuvo Expanding Mousse. This is the um, natural cotton color because when you heat this up, it puffs up like clouds or like the foam on the ocean. So I'm really hoping to use this on some of my layouts um, with the expanding heat. And I know we still have a couple of those left in the store. And then this one is uh, glitter drops in orange soda. And this one is stone drops in um, Lady Liberty. And then this is Heidi Swap's Color Shine in mustard. And this is an older product. It, she doesn't put it out anymore. So some of you may have this in your stash, some of you may not. Um, I don't know if you can even get it anymore, but I pulled it out in case you have it. The Nuvo Mica Mist in um, Fresh Pear. And then last but not least, the Distress Oxide Spray in Tumbled Glass. So I think that gives me a variety of different types of mixed media to choose from when I'm working on layouts. And I'll just have it all at my fingertips so I'm not like trying to go through 40 colors of ink pads in my room trying to find the color that matches. It's just so much easier for me to pull out what matches. Um, I think that's about all for mixed media and we will move on to the photos that I've chosen to work with this month. I will just jump right in and show you what I'm planning on using. I'm using a lot of summer pictures here, a lot of beach pictures and pool pictures. And for instance, these four pictures are pool pictures at a staycation. So I've got that set of pictures. And then this set of pictures, I'm using um, two three by four pictures and one four by six picture, and they are from San Diego. They're from um, a mall. I think it's Flower Promenade Mall or something like that in Del Mar, I believe. So those are those. And then I'm using a couple of pictures of my kids with the surfboard and the um, oh my gosh, the paddleboard and a surfboard. And the kids are just, they're not even on it right now in these pictures. They're just sitting by the side of it, getting ready to get on it. 
And then these pictures are from the Lazy River on, at a hotel, one of each of my kids. But the colors in this is just so perfect for water pictures and summery pictures and bright pictures. So I went and found all my brightest pictures to use. This is my kids. These stairs have like a mural painted on the front or stuck on the front. I don't think it's really painted. That looks like a cloudy sky. But again, the colors are just so perfect with the pinks and the blues and the yellows. And then this picture is me and my son on the beach on my lemon shaped towel. This was of the summer of 2020. So there was no one at the beach. We were just at a tiny little beach and you couldn't be around anyone because again, it was the summer of 2020. So that's why it's completely empty in the background. But we just needed to get outside for a while. This one is just my family on vacation. We're just having dinner and I liked the colors with the little pops of black in it. I thought it went well. And this is an, these are spanning over years and years of vacations, guys. This was not all one summer. Like you can see how little my son is in some of these versus like how big he is in some of them. Doesn't even look like the same kid. <laughs> so don't think that we take all these vacations in one year. This is from last year when we went and visited my sister. So we were on vacation and there's a surfboard in the background of these pictures because this they live in Florida. So it's like a very like beachy um, restaurant that we went to eat at. And last but not least, I have got one giant, um, this is an eight by 12 collage that I originally printed it as a collage because I wanted it to go on the second the second side of a layout and then these two pictures I wanted to go you know on the left hand side of the layout so I'm not sure if I'm going to cut these apart and make like just a giant double page spread or if I really will keep this as a collage on one side and then really just embellish up the other side so I've got that as well I'm going to move this off to the side. So those are the pictures that I've pulled that I hope to work with this month. There is a lot. I probably won't make this many process videos. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different layouts. And one of them being a double page layout. And I probably won't do that much, but who knows? It just depends how easily they're coming together and how quickly I'm making videos. So I've got all the pictures here you know, just in case. But I for sure we'll at least make five videos, at least one a week. So thank you guys for watching. Um, all the links to everything that I've discussed in this video are in the description of the video. And I will see you back here on hopefully the second, which is just in a couple days here, with um, my first process video. And if you haven't uh, seen it yet, you might wanna go check out my quick little intro video about um, International Scrapbook Day, which is coming up this weekend. And we have some fun stuff planned for that. So you might wanna go watch my intro video on YouTube for that. It's just, I posted it uh, within the last two weeks. Okay, thanks guys, bye.